<laughs> I can't see him anymore. Where'd he go? I can't see him. I guess that's the whole point. All right, guys and gals, welcome back to Unturned Hardcore Mode on the Overgrown 3 map with yours truly, Dr. Hardy Smurf. Picking up right where we left off in the last episode here. Uh, the sun is actually going down. It's the end of day two. We have parked our baby blue pickup truck right outside uh, the farm. You can see it down there on the side of the road. We don't have a lot of gas. 9%, 66% health in that thing. I'm down to 22% water, 35% food, and we are in dire, dire straits. Let's um, let's get let's bump up our agriculture here to bump up my chances to get more harvest. It's 14% chance. We're gonna go even higher. I'm gonna get some more XP. Let's get cranking. This is the only way to get hydration right now, and that is through food. Because I don't have a um, I don't have a canteen. I don't have any water source. I checked the farm over here. There is no well, and there's no water tower. So the only way we're gonna be able to get water is by eating vegetables. So we want to make sure that we can grow lots and lots of veggies and harvest many veggies here. So let's go ahead and do that. So that gives us a 29% chance to harvest multiples. And we need this. Okay, on three, two, one, cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your mud flaps. One tomato. All right, guys, come on, you can do better than that. <laughs> How about for, uh, what is this, corn? Multiple corns, yay, you did it. Okay, keep that stuff crossed. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna eat both of those corns and uh you know what i'm gonna leave that one there because i i don't i'm not gonna eat that one yeah we're gonna plant this because i forgot about it we'll hold off on these because i don't need them right now and i don't have the inventory space so there we go okay very good that wasn't too shabby so we got two corns out of it and that's how we're gonna stay alive right now at least until we can find some kind of water source somewhere i don't know this map at all so right now i'm just gonna chop down a bunch of trees we're gonna do a whole bunch of uh, work right here on the side of the road where the sun dips down behind the horizon there. Night's going to fall, and we're going to be in the dark, unfortunately. But we're going to do some stuff right here by a campfire. Uh, oh, camp that's not how you spell campfire, Dr. Hardy. Tell me, didn't you go to school for 16 years? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you can't even spell campfire. There we go. I don't know where he went to doctor school, but uh, maybe he went somewhere. Uh, Smurfville or something. Maybe their standards aren't quite so stringent. And if you're a doctor, what do you need to spell campfire for anyway? Right? I don't know. I don't think he's a real doctor. I think he just plays one on unturned. <laughs> all right, let's grab all these goodies up. I don't have a lot of inventory space either, but uh, let's see. Can I make a... Well, let's, let's break these down into planks because I need to make a crate. And hopefully that is enough. I drop those, pick those up. Yep, yeah, just working off the ground here. Now, can you spell crate? What? You don't have to shout. No. Um, well, we need one more plank. Really? Really? All right. There we go. Craft. And yeah, we got another box. Excellent. So now we can get some of the stuff out of our hands. We really need a backpack of some sort, which hopefully we can get pretty soon. All right, can't get too particular with this stuff. <laughs> takes time. Everything like that takes time, and I don't have time. I'm losing uh, I'm losing water here, so we don't have time to muck around. Let's go ahead and make some... We're going to make some arrows, guys. That's what we're going to do. We can make some pine arrows. I'm gonna grab all my metal. I'm actually going to break this down. Salvage. There we go. Break that down. And let's make some arrows. Arrows. Uh, oh, we need nails. Right, 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 right. We need nails first, which is why we need the metal. So we can make, well, let's make two. I'm gonna hang on to some of that metal for re potential repair jobs. Because I think we get, I think we get multiple arrows per operation here, right? I think we get three, yeah, we get three arrows, three pine arrows. So that's six pine arrows. I still have them all on my body, yeah. All right, awesome. And I think right now I'm just gonna stuff them in here because we still have a bit of work to do. And in fact, let's take this arrow out. How's my axe? 86%. I can't repair this because I don't have the proper engineering skill. But I can fix this other arrow here. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. I might want to hang it on that metal. Ah, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. There we go. All right. Okay, how are we looking here? Um, let's make... We're not going to make anything else. 
We're not going to make anything else. I think we're ready to go. We've got to go down the road and see if we can find some kind of water source or something. I don't know what's down that way. So we're going to head down in that direction and see. Hopefully we can find something good. All right, let's go. Let us boogie. Now, I know I said in the last episode that I wasn't going to work through the night. That I'd skip the nights and just start every episode in the day. But that's not really going to work out for us. I have to work through the night. Otherwise, I will, um, I'll die. I'll die of dehydration or starvation. I need to be working. I'm a working smurf. We're pulling a night shift tonight, that's for sure. We don't get any breaks as a smurf, you see. Here in the overgrown. And there's nothing around here, guys. <laughs> there's absolutely nothing. Where does this road lead us? Oh, <gasps> wait. Hold the phone. That's a city. Wowzers. Oh, baby. Yes, indeed. Oh, this is nice. I'm going to park it right here. we got 4% gas. If we can just find a gas station. Yeah, there's got to be a gas station here in the big city, right? Look at this. We have an overpass here. Yeah, this is a city. If I have ever seen one. So, oh, construction site over there, but we need we need water. Now, where are we going to source water in a city other than in kitchens and restaurants and grocery stores? I guess that's about it. Oh, it's a botanist. <gasps> botanist right here, but I can't see a darn thing. Uh, I, mean, I hate to drive up with my car, turn on the headlights. But we don't have any, we don't have a headlamp or anything. Oh, I've got two... Purple flares. I gotta go. We just gotta go. We just gotta do it. We just gotta do it. But let's look around here for any stinkers. You got any stinkers around? I love the way they've, they've made this map look with all the overgrowth here. Hence the name Overgrown. Alright, we got one zombie right over here on the side of the botanist shop. Uh, I can't really see what that is. Is this a gun store? gun store all right if i throw a flare in there it's going to call the zombies to it but the flare will at least light up <laughs> and then they will go back to their own little places right let's put a flare over here oh there's a spitter in there well, i have a lot of arrows now all right we're gonna have to take them down guys we're just gonna have to do it we got it we got this we got this Ah! Oh, he got me! Wow, he's got some range on that thing. Okay, back up. Whoa! Back up! He's got some really good range. I'm not bleeding. That's the important thing. I didn't realize he had such good range. I think we got one headshot in on him. Another headshot. We take him down. Right. Okay. Now, is that other guy still over there? I wonder. Grab my arrow. Now, you guys are going to be able to see better than I can because I'm going to lighten this. Uh, I'm going to brighten up this video. Oh, I think I might have missed him. Um, in my editor. Yeah, I missed him. So, you guys can see more than I can see. If I pass by things, I know you're going to rage. But, oh, flashlight. Oh, thanks, dude. Never mind. We're good now. We got the arrow. Right, let's just reposition things, although that takes time, and that means I'm losing water. Now I can see. I will see the same stuff. I really need a headlamp or night vision. Hopefully there's nobody else in there. Oh, there's my old flare. Did it go out? No, no, no. I just can't see with the flashlight. Now this flashlight might attract... The zombies if they see it so we have to be careful fertilizer two fertilizer that's amazing and a corn seed yes that'll hydrate a little bit oh, oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. another one corn seed tomatoes and lettuce are the best but the corn will do so that right there is at least two pieces of uh of veg vegetation or fruits that we can grow instantly and get some hydration going and now we're talking whoa whoa what's this sweater vest more storage i thought it was a uh, military vest Potato seed over here? Wait, this is a military car, right? I think so. Carry potato seeds. Who knew? And a green sweater vest. That's awesome. More storage. More storage indeed. All right, I'm feeling better about this now. This is good. That thing's a mess. We really got to fix that up. But I need to get engineering. 
Um, engineer one. Oh, oh. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Now, if I were a worker bee profession instead of a doctor, then um, that would be much cheaper. Oh, I don't have a blowtorch anyway. Ah, right, duh. So that was a waste of skill points. Unless we can find a blowtorch. Okay, I don't see any zombies in here. No, what do we have here? Ooh. Munitions, nice. What is that? More ammo. All right, great. Well, let's just combine it real quick. Hey, we have a magazine here. Cult mag. Okay. But no guns. So I got some ammo. That's good. If we can just get our hands on a Colt, then we have a handgun. That's pretty awesome. Now I'm a little worried about going into this town in the middle of the night. So we're going to back out right now. And we're going to try something else. Now what's that over there? You know what? Hold on. Let's just get these seeds planted. Okay. Now, this is great. So let's go ahead and get these seeds here planted. ASAP. A little corn there. A uh, little corn there. And I've got a potato seed, right? Potato! Right on the edge there. I'm gonna grab this guy, which is another potato. Only one. And that's not a lot of hydration for a potato, I'm afraid. Nope, not much at all. And that is corn. Do we get two? Oh man, we're failing big time on the uh, on the bonus. That just ain't right. All right, 27%. Maybe we can go into the town and find some more. But I feel like I should probably do it right now. Uh, fine, let's do this one. I think that's a... What was that? Lettuce! Yes! Two! Thank goodness! You guys are doing the right job by crossing everything you got. That's good. Up to 66%. Now that's what we're talking about. And I'll hang on to this one potentially... Uh, oh, we have another one over here. I forgot about that one. Right, 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 right. Awesome. All right, we might actually survive a little while. And you know what? I can't see a darn thing, so let's just put the fire out. All right. Uh, we're doing fine. 99% food, 64% hydration. And I'm thinking we might just wait for the sun to come up at this point. Rather than go slinking around in the middle of the night. Maybe I'll chop down some trees and get some experience. Uh, I hate to do that, though. Well, I'm just getting organized. Hold on. Alright, guys, I think we should just head into town. I can't wait for the sun to come up. It's just... It's not um, taking advantage of the resources that I have, and every resource counts. So let's, let's get a little high ground here and see what we can see from up on top of this bridge. We've got some wrecked vehicles. These might have some loot, maybe something to drink. Juice box. Or something to eat. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a... Oh, no. I thought that was a zombie. It's not a zombie. Oh, there's one. It's all right. It's all right. There's one down there. We got construction guys here. Oh, maybe a blowtorch. Yeah, maybe a blowtorch, except I can't see in the dark when I put my flashlight down. So that is kind of a catch-22 now, isn't it? And, all right, let's shoot this guy. I lost one of my arrows. I must... I think that's the one I... Oh, no! It's a flanker! I think that's the one I miss with. Oh, dang it. Oh, I can see you now. 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 I can't see... Oh, oh okay. I'm out of here. <laughs> I can't see him anymore. Where'd he go? I can't see him! I guess that's the whole point. Got him. <laughs> Saw him just enough. All right. So yeah, progress in this series is going to be kind of slow. That's just a, a product of the hard mode. I can't just go run off all willy-nilly and half-cocked into a town. Because if even one zombie sees you, they give chase. And every single zombie is a huge threat in this. Because you can't stun them, as I've mentioned before. And they do a lot more damage to you, and you do less damage to them. So, yeah, it's just going to be slow going. 
But we'll get there. Well, there's my other arrow. I should probably grab it. I always forget these things around. I cannot forget the arrows. They're precious! I love this. I love this, uh, all the growth on the roads and on the sides of the buildings. Makes it really look like an, an old apocalypse. Like it's been many years. We've got a little blue hatchback right here. If we could get a... Oh, I can make a gas can. Oh, I should have made a gas can before I came up here. That's all right. I'll do that. Now that I, now that I know there's vehicles here, we can get some gas out of them. Uh, oh, a tank down? Is that an operational tank or just a fakie? I think it's a fakie. But still, there's no water sources in town other than what we can find in kitchens and restaurants and so forth, right? I might be able to get my truck up here. You know, we can pass right over the city. don't know where it goes, though. I got another zombie here, and hopefully that is not another flanky. We're going to find out. Make sure we hit it. Did I hit it? Did it whiff right over his head? I got it. It's two shots to the head with this. And this crossbow. Down to 9%. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. We need to find a gas station. There's got to be one here somewhere. Is that a fire department? We need a blowtorch. I guess we might be able to get one at the uh, construction site. Oh, check this out. We can cross from the uh, overpass. Oh, there's a gas station right there. Um, to this apartment building with this wrecked car. That's cool. It's a hammer. Which is actually a pretty decent melee weapon because it's so fast. But, but short range. I think in hard mode the key... For melee is something with long range. The axe is pretty good. It's a slow swinger, but does d halfway decent damage, and it uh, it's got better range than knives and things. Forty nine percent water. We really need to get some water. Uh, some kind of water source. It's gonna be key. All right. I'm, I think before we head down to that gas station. Well, let's just go see if it has a gas can. If there's a gas can there, then great. Otherwise, we'll go make one. A blowtorch and a gas can would be super awesome right now. And I'm really thinking about healing up to max, but... Yeah. I don't want to use up those rags. You need them for when you're bleeding. It's too easy to bleed out. Oh, a hockey stick would be a really good weapon. Let's get rid of that then. And we can repair that hockey stick, can't we? Not with that metal. We need one more metal. Uh, yeah, the hockey stick is going to be a pretty good weapon, actually. I think. It's got longer range than uh, than a knife, for example, and a hammer. And it swings faster than the axe, I bet. All right, let's, um, let's try to be a little stealthy here. Like I was saying earlier, you don't want to just walk right in. It's not like the old days of the apocalypse when zombies were normal. <laughs> Got to be super cautious. Well, we have gas, but I don't see any gas cans on the outside. Maybe there'd be gas cans on the inside. This is the diner portion. Oh, that's excellent grape juice. Oh, what a find. Oh, every little thing, man. Every little thing. It's like the jackpot. Oh, that's good, too. I can either eat that or turn that into a seed. I'll probably turn it into a seed and whack it with some fertilizer because it's good food and hydration. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We've got a zombie crawler over there. And I don't have my saw on me, so I can't make a gas can. But we'll just drive the truck right over here. And there's, uh, looks like a pharmacy. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's what we're doing. Let's go get Baby Blue. We're going to go right over the overpass. We're going to park it here. We're going to fill it up with gas. And then we will decide what we want to do from there.